I'm Kelvin Ross, editor of Power Engineering International, and I'm here at the first day of the OSI Soft Users Conference here in London. And I'm joined by Pat Kennedy, CEO and founder of OSI Soft. Pat, thanks for joining me. Thank you. You had an exciting launch uh, this morning, news of uh, OSI Soft Cloud Services. And I wonder if you could tell me a bit more about that, and in particular what it means for companies in the energy sector, especially utilities. So what this means is if you think about some of the issues of software running in industrial facilities, the main maintenance of those that software is actually where a lot of the problem lies. When you can drive that software out of the cloud, then you can all be maintained at a central location. Similar to the way that you would use a search engine like Google, you never, you never have to maintain it. It just, one day it works better or works differently, but it all works centrally. So that's one of the main functions behind the, the web services. The web services we announced were primarily data services, but we will be building more of those over time. Okay, and in the energy sector, what are the trends that you're seeing? Are there, are there some, were there some key early adopters for you? Maybe OEMs, utilities, T&D companies who are now really reaping the benefits, and are there maybe some who are a bit late to the party? In the energy sector, they've always, because of the EMS systems or the DMS systems, they've always been used to this centralized operation. So what the web services do is that they help you build much nicer presentations and more responsive presentations at the central location where you're actually supplying the controls. And we're here in London. Each year your event moves around uh, another European city. The big key drivers of the energy transition here in Europe are decarbonisation, decentralisation and digitalisation. And I wonder how much you think digitalisation is an enabler for the, for the other two. So the biggest issue I see, both Europe and the United States, is the uh, increase in percentage of renewables, because renewables are more intermittent than dispatchable resources like power stations. So as we come up into the higher brackets of renewables, then the need for intelligence, particularly behind the meter, becomes very significant. And that's really where these very large systems come into play. So then the, the, the role of data has, a, has a, a key role to play in smoothing out those intermittency issues. You can, at any time, over a wide range of people, there is not as much intermittency as in very localized places. So really, it is an information problem. And the distribution grid and, the, and also the transmission grid play a role in making sure that the power consumption and power generation is balanced and it uses less of the dispatching power to do that. And yes, information is a big part of that. Okay, Pat, thank you very much for your time. And uh, that's all from a very busy day one of the OSI Soft Uses Conference here in London.